welcome to talk with healthcare heroes so today i have with me a vibrant very zealous and gorgeous doctor with me dr mega prurti so welcome dr mega to hi. talk in healthcare hi how's it going yeah it's going great i'm enjoying oh, yeah. uh, so the topic for today is pain and pain management so acknowledgement of pain as a pathological entity is a very necessary uh, seeing the condition uh, seeing the global burden of this condition pain uh, pain as a biological biologically when we see it can be a protective tool but uh, if it loses its adaptive function it can lead to a pathological condition so it is very important to talk about pain so i have with me dr mega to talk about this so ma'am how do you define pain well uh, yeah so pain uh, as defined by international association of study of pain if you say so pain is uh, an any unpleasant sensation sensory or emotional experience right so these are important words sensory and emotional experience which are due to any kind of um, you know insult it can be physical insult it, is, it can be an emotional insult uh, which can lead to pain right but uh, frankly my favorite definition of pain is whatever the patient says it is and whenever the patient says it does so uh, as per me there is no pain that originates in brain and actually all the pains originate in brain itself so uh, whenever the patient says it is pain and uh, whatsoever the patient describes it as it is pain for me so uh, so ma'am is the threshold for every patient different about pain how is it the pain threshold of pain is it same for everybody yeah so uh, as i defined pain so it is experience right uh, sensory emotional experience and emo- uh, experiences differ for every patient for every person so actually what happens is pain is not just like if i pinch someone here and it goes uh, to my cortex and uh, we experience pain it's not that like for other sensations say for heat or cold uh, mostly if you give same amount of heat to two patients they will report kind of similar experiences right but for pain what matters is when we give uh, pain to a person to same pain to two persons it goes into your brain through the spinal cord and it also goes uh, to the pa- uh, to our emotional centers to our limbic system to our memories so uh, and when all these things uh, combine together all these stimulus combine together and then we experience pain so it is defined by patient's memories previous experiences of pain it is defined by patient's um, kind of uh, how has uh, his social uh, circle been if he has a good and you know caring family the pain goes down so um, pain is really a very complex uh, kind a uh, complex thing and that is why pain medicine and palliative medicine has emerged as a separate specialty because you really need to understand the pain at its basic level to manage it yeah you cover my next question that why is it different for dif- uh, different patient <laughs> what are the types of pain <laughs> so types of pain uh, so we basically classify pain usually based on three characters one is onset of pain as in acute pain and chronic pain uh, usually acute pain is jab kuch injury hua to pain hai jaise ki post operative pain surgery hua to hai ya accident hua to pain hai chronic pain usko bolte hain jab hum जब हमें पता है जैसे ऑपरेशन हुआ तो यूजुअली दो तीन महीने बाद पेन ठीक हो जाना चाहिए बट तीन महीने के बाद भी जब हमारा टिश्यू हीलिंग हो चुका है उसके बाद भी अगर पेन परसिस्ट कर रहा है तो उसे बोलेंगे क्रॉनिक पेन दैट इज वन क्लासिफिकेशन एन अदर क्लासिफिकेशन इज कैंसर पेन नॉन कैंसर पेन राइट सो बिकॉज देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन कैंसर पेन नॉन कैंसर पेन सो दैट इज एन अदर क्लासिफिकेशन third and most important classification based on which hum pain ko manage karte hain is uh, the origin of pain that uh, one is nociceptive pain another is neuropathic pain and third type is the mixed pain jisme nociceptive uh, bhi hai aur neuropathic bhi hai so it is very important to classify pain on basis of all three things so as to give perfect management to the patient so ma'am what are the causes of pain why pain 
Yeah, why pain? Good question. <laughs> so, uh, pain can happen, you know, as it is defined ki hum uh, ek sensation hai. There's a heat, cold, touch, sub ek sensation hai. Pain bhi ek sensation hai. So, causes, uh, ek to ho gaya humara, jaysen causes mein nociceptive neuropathic, thik hai. So, nociceptive pain, ek uh, physical injury hai. Jaysen ek cut lag gaya, accident ho gaya, surgery hoi, to ek physical injury hai, jiske karan pain ho raha hai, that is a nociceptive pain, right? And uh, dusri uh, type ka ho gaya, nerve pain. Nerve pain aaj kal badi commonly bolte hain, jis mein badi commonly hum uh, kuch types of uh, medications bhi use karte hain. So, uh, this mein kya hai, kahi baar, nociceptive pain is usually jo aap starting mein baat kar rahe thai, physiological pain. It is a protective kind of pain, right? Ki injury hoti hai, hume pata lag jata hai, hum us part ko protect karte hain, aur usse heal honne ka mauka dete hain. Ek ho gaya, neuropathic pain. Usually, Tissues heal ho jane chahiye, heal ho gaye hain, lekin pain persist kar raha hai, dikh nahi raha hai, lekin pain hai. To kahi na kahi nerves damage ho gai hain, ya jisko bolte na ki brain mein hai, inko pain hai nahi, but brain se pain a raha hai. So it's actually, there are complex things, jib chronic ho jata hai, patient ko suppose 5 saal se pain chalte chale ja raha hai. So uske brain mein jo neurons hain, wo bohat entangle ho gaye, aur ek complex network ban chuka hai. जिसके कारण वो एक स्टिमुलस नहीं है पेन का बट स्टिल वो पेन परसीव करता जा रहा है सो इट बिकम्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स थिंग इट इज कॉल्ड सेंसिटाइजेशन इन आर लैंग्वेजेस एंड या सो दैट इज काइंड ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स पेन सो न्यूरोपैथिक पेन एंड मेनी टाइम्स द पेन इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ जिसको हम बोलते हैं मिक्स्ड पेन मैम सो हाउ डू यू हाउ डू वी हाउ एज अ मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल uh do do we assess pain or how a medical professional can assess pain okay so uh whenever a patient complains of pain uh we need to ask first of all where the pain is right so we kind of uh make it acronym as pqrst so um location of pain is very important uske alawa severity of pain and quality of pain किस टाइप का पेन है बर्निंग है स्टैबिंग है थ्रॉबिंग है सो यूजुअली अगर बर्निंग पेन है एंड क्रॉलिंग सेंसेशन झंझनाहट ये सब वर्ड्स अगर मरीज यूज करता है तो उसका मतलब वो इट इज मोर ऑफ न्यूरोपैथिक पेन राइट एंड अगर पेन इज मोर ऑफ चाकू मारने जैसा स्टैबिंग जिसको बोलते हैं ऐसा पेन है एक्यूट पेन है जिसको वो लोकलाइज कर पा रहे कि एग्जैक्टली यहाँ पेन है वो यूजली हमारा नॉसिसेप्टिव पेन होता है so based on the character then uh, uh, suppose char mahine se dard hai to pain badh raha hai ya kam ho raha hai kis se aggravating and relieving factors ye sab cheeze hain iske alawa intensity of pain of course is very important jiske liye hamare paas bahut sare scales hote hain numeric rating scale visual analog aur agar mareez nahi bata sakta hai ye sab suppose ventilator pe hai to hum behavior assess karte hain behavioral pain scales hote hain फेस देख कर और आर्म्स की पोजीशन देख कर और बहुत सारे बिहेवियरल स्केल्स होते हैं जिससे हम फ्लैक हाँ फ्लैक इज फॉर बेबीज या किड्स सो मैम हाउ डू यू मैनेज हाउ हाउ डू वी मैनेज पेन एज इन मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पेन सो मैनेजमेंट एक अच्छा एक इम्पोर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट आई वुड रियली लाइक टू टेल इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टोटल पेन राइट So, because management is based on that, so I'm telling you right now. So, total pain कुछ होता है. Total pain का मतलब है physical pain, ठीक है? जो actually injury है उसकी वजह से. दूसरा होता है psychological pain. तीसरा होता है spiritual pain. और चौथा होता है psychological, spiritual and social pain, right? Social pain. So, जब भी किसी को pain होता है ना, तो ये चारों उसके points होते हैं, ठीक है? तो जब तक हम ये चार एक्यूट पेन में यूजुअली ये अप्लाई नहीं करता है बट क्रॉनिक पेन में जब हम जब तक हम ये चारों को मैनेज नहीं करेंगे तब तक पेन मरीज का ठीक होगा नहीं कभी भी ठीक है हम सोचे सिर्फ दवाइयां देकर हम पेन ठीक कर लेंगे फिजिकल कॉम्पोनेंट ठीक करेंगे जब तक हम उसका साइकोलॉजिकल वो उसे अगर और कुछ माइंड uh, में बॉर्डर कर रहा है हम उसे नहीं ठीक करेंगे तो पेन हम कभी मैनेज नहीं कर पाएंगे so uh, when i talk about management of pain it is always complete and management of total pain right so uh, one so how do we manage pain one is with medications okay and another important thing is uh, interventions right 
as i said uh, management of pain depends on what kind of pain it is right nociceptive pain neuropathic pain and mixed pain so nociceptive pain usually hamare jo normal pain killers hote hain wovran ho gaya pcm ho gaya ye sab cheezon se manage ho jata hai neuropathic pain ke liye apne specific dawaiyan hoti hain gabapentin amitriptyline or pregabalin and others a lot a lot many ha huh? then ek important cheez hai interventions jisme hum kya karte hain मिनिमली इन्वेजिव एज इन सिर्फ नीडल से एक्स रेज और अल्ट्रासाउंड में देख कर हम स्पेसिफिक नर्व को टारगेट करते हैं जैसे सपोज कैंसर है कॉल ब्लैडर का तो उसमें यूजली जो पेन आता है वो सी लेक फ्लेक्सिस एक नर्व का गुच्छा है सी लेक फ्लेक्सिस उससे आता है तो हम क्या करते हैं एक्स रेज में देख कर सी लेक फ्लेक्सिस पे अपनी नीडल डालते हैं और उसमें हम दवाई डाल देते हैं सो दैट वी आर टारगेटिंग द एग्जैक्ट कॉज ऑफ पेन and that gives a much better quality of pain relief than only the medications so uh, these are two kinds of management based on the uh, mechanism of pain right so medications medications mein again we have many different types of medications and interventional pain management so ma'am uh, how is it this management different as in if a patient is having cancer and he goes to a lot of pain he or she goes to a lot of pain so how to manage that yeah so uh, cancer pain ka uh, jo main stay hai wo hai opioids usually jo hai um, jo who ladder hai of analgesics usme step 1 step 2 step 3 hota hai so step 1 is for mild pain ki hamara normal pcm diclofenac de raha hai फिर स्टेप टू इज मॉडरेट पेन जिसमें हम जो वीक ओपियोइ्स हैं ट्रामेडोल हो गया टेपेंटेडोल हो गया कोडीन हो गया ये सब दे रहे हैं एंड बट सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट जो कैंसर पेन में आते हैं क्योंकि इट इज यूजली अ सिवियर काइंड ऑफ पेन तो उसमें आते हैं हमारे स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपियोइ्स बहुत सारे स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपियोइ्स हैं बट इंडिया में मेजरली वी हैव मॉर्फिन फेंटेनल एंड मेथेडोन मेथेडोन अगेन हमारे पास बहुत कॉमनली नहीं है जैसे हमारे हॉस्पिटल में नहीं है बट सो मॉर्फिन एंड फेंटेनल आर आर मेजर बेस लाइन पेन किलर्स हैं फॉर कैंसर पेन सो दीज आर स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपियोइ्स राइट सो या सो आई वुड लाइक टू रूली टेल अबाउट स्ट्रॉन्ग ओपियोइ्स बिकॉज बहुत ज्यादा पेशेंट्स में और इनफैक्ट हमारे डॉक्टर्स में भी ओपियोइड फोबिया है ओपियोइड प्रिस्क you want to say something no no i wanted to ask that is it okay to use opioids because everybody has this in their mind yeah so uh, this is a great platform to tell you that opioids are very safe when they are prescribed by uh, someone who knows what opioids are right so uh, if i prescribe opioids to a cancer patient एंड कल उसका नेबर आता है उसके घर में कि यार ये बड़ी सही दवाई है कि मेरे को ऐसी पेट में दर्द हो रहा है वो कहेगा ये बड़ी सही दवाई है ये आधी गोली ले लो ठीक हो जाता है सब कुछ सो दैट्स नॉट राइट ठीक है सो एजुकेटिंग अबाउट ओपियोइ्स इज इम्पोर्टेंट वेन एवर आई प्रिस्क्राइब ओपियोइ्स लाइक मॉर्फिन ऑफ एंटेनल टू माई पेशेंट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी टू टेल दैम कि उसके क्या यूजेज हैं ठीक है वो उनके लिए बहुत बढ़िया दवाई है कोई भी ऐसा सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट उससे कोई एडिक्शन नहीं होता है ठीक है वेन प्रिस्क्राइब इन अ प्रॉपर वे ऐसा नहीं है कि मैंने एक बार दे दिया और वो चार महीने तक वो दवाई लेते चले जा रहे हैं ऐसे नहीं हो सकता दे हैव टू बी इन कॉन्स्टेंट टच विद मी एवरी फिफ्टीन डेज ट्वेंटी वन डेज वेन एवर आई कॉल देम सो दे हैव टू बी इन टच विद मी टू टाइट रेट द डोजेज ऑफ ओपियोइ्स देन इफ दे हैव एनी साइड इफेक्ट लाइक नॉजिया वॉमिटिंग कैन बी अ कॉमन साइड इफेक्ट कॉन्स्टिपेशन कॉन्स्टिपेशन इज अ मेजर मेजर साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ मॉर्फिन so uh they need to be in touch and uh, we need to manage these side effects but they are overall very safe drugs and they do not cause addiction and um i think i think they should be used in good hands and uh with proper prescriptions yeah ma'am is it normal to have pain like for example after a surgery um yeah so after a surgery is a classical example of nociceptive pain and uh, yes pain to hoga but hame usko manage karna bahut zaruri hai theek hai hum ye nahi bol sakte ki inka to operation hua hai inko to dard hoga theek hai so uh, one very important cause of chronic pain is non management of acute pain right 
सो so, जिनका एक्यूट फेज में मैनेजमेंट uh, नहीं होता है पेन का वही पेशेंट्स मैक्सिमम उनके देश से मोर देन काइंड ऑफ एट टू टेन परसेंट हायर चांसेस होते हैं इनफैक्ट डिफरेंट स्टडीज में डिफरेंट है सो सम स्टडीज टेन टू फिफ्टी परसेंट तक चांसेस हैं दैट दे विल डेवलप क्रॉनिक पेन मोर ऑफन राइट सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू मैनेज एक्यूट पेन सो एज टू अवॉइड क्रॉनिक पेन ma'am uh, can you uh, te- tell me if a nurse is uh, looking up to patient and a patient has pain so what she should do yeah so a nurse uh, plays a very important part in pain management first and foremost duty is to uh, ask about pain and assess pain right pain is the fifth vital sign right so just like uh, they say heart rate and uh, temperature bp and respiratory rate so the fifth one is pain right so it is as important to me- uh, to measure pain for the uh, nurse to do and another thing is uh, non pharmacological management of pain right which our nurses are good at doing and they do it uh, like they can give a you know comfortable position to the patient they can give some hot packs cold packs to the patient they can you know uh, a lot of centers uh, not in india they have pet therapies music therapies and physiotherapy helps uh, many times so uh, i think non pharmacological management of pain and in fact you know sometimes just talking uh, to the patient in a loving manner uh, kind of reduces pain it's very important and it's really yeah. half of the pain yeah exactly exactly it's important yeah joining she is working as a consultant uh, in pain medicine and palliative care and i have one more question why did you choose this <laughs> Wow, good question. I love to answer this question. Well, I actually ended up accidentally uh, after doing. I completed my post graduation in anesthesia from Sabdhajang, so I was just looking out for senior residency, and I accidentally landed up in AIMS, the oncology uh, wing of AIMS, for my senior residency, where I got exposed to cancer pain and palliative care. I worked there for three years. so that was where i really developed that uh, you know thing for cancer pain palliative care and uh, after that i there was no looking back i mean i have not practiced anesthesia after that and uh, i've been practicing i i think i it gives me immense pleasure to um, can to manage cancer pain with interventions and palliative care overall even you know end of life care that we do so um, a lot of people find it very depressing but frankly i find it a very satisfying experience when i am able to comfort a person in their last days when i am able to comfort the caregivers because palliative care is very patient centered care so we provide pa- uh, we ask patient what do they want which is really sometimes you know missing in indian systems that patient ko to chhod dete hain attendant se pucha jata hai aapko kya karna hai aage kya karna hai so patient centered care and care of caregivers also that is what palliative medicine is all about so uh, it gives me immense pleasure when i'm able to make uh, people comfortable and uh, you know ask them what their last wishes are and when they are able to achieve those things i think i think it's really a satisfying experience for me in palliative medicine i love it so i think you have covered everything that i have asked and thank you for sharing your information thank you for joining in ma'am uh, those who are watching us online do like our facebook page medical grip and our subscribe to our youtube channel medical grip thank you thank you so much for joining thank you ma'am